Sebastian just said a really wonderful thing that he, when he leaves a, a movie, he wants to feel um, inspired by life. And I was like, wow. Hmm. I think that is ex that's, that's exactly how I felt when I when I saw the original um, iteration of this film. I, I I was so full of feeling, and and uh, I I couldn't. I thought I have to work with this guy. I, I this is such a he, just the, the way he sees the world and and the way I felt afterwards. Like I need to I need that in my life. And I think that that's what I want people to have when they watch this movie too. I want them to walk away thinking that they love being alive and they want to continue doing what they're doing and connecting with their human human beings. And mm -hmm. you know, I yeah, I want them to feel inspired. Mm -hmm. So for both of you, mm -hmm. moving the story to the U.S., how did you choose Los Angeles? Why do you think Gloria could belong in L.A.? Well, that, that, that was Julianne's idea. Yeah. And I think it was, a, you know, a very a great intuition. Because yeah. there is something about L.A. That, that communicates beautifully with what the story needed. You know, a certain mess. There is mm -hmm. a messiness to it. To mm -hmm. it. And I wouldn't say it's a Latin city, but there is a Latin vibe to it, uh, which you don't find in other American cities. So it really made sense when you when you suggested it. It was my first instinct. Mm -hmm. I mean, because that was that was the. I live in New York City, so I like to shoot everything here <laughs> in New York. Yeah. So I couldn't believe it when he asked me, and the first words out of my mouth were "L.A.", and I was like, "Oh, oh now I've committed myself to a movie in L.A." But it did. I was like, that was the only place I could see us transposing that story. I believed that she would be in her car. I would mm. believe there was that, that sense of isolation, and yet everything very close you know, on you and the idea and then having a casino, a place that you kind of go to that was considered romantic that maybe wasn't so romantic. Mm. You know, all of those all those elements seemed to exist right there and it did fit perfectly. Mm. It was crazy. Mm -hmm. Well I remember when we first met, uh the very last thing that we talked about. I was yeah. I was leaving the you know the meeting and then Julian stopped me and said, Hey can you please stay <laughs> for wait, five wait. ten more minutes? Can we please talk about the music that yeah. she would be singing, the songs? Yeah. And I was like, Of course, because you know, this is one of the things I enjoy the most yeah. about uh you know, making a film, you know, choosing the the music and the songs because it's just so such, such a joyful process. Mm -hmm. no? Yeah. So we really yeah. talked about talked each about and yeah. every one of the songs that are uh, in the film. That they should be specific in the sense that, that we would everyone would know them. We'd have heard them on the radio. They were certain kinds of love songs. They they you know they they had a, a um, an emotional component that Gloria would relate to, and they'd be songs we could afford. <laughs> yeah, but in a certain way, just to complete mm. the idea. Yeah. Um, Gloria is a very musical character. She loves to sing and dance. Uh, and the film is, uh, is kind of like a musical film, you know, like uh, in the sense that the music plays a role that is not uh, cosmetic. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's revealing um, some aspects of the character's personality, of identity, or where she is in her process, uh, almost like a... Well, uh, pretty much like in a musical film, but almost like in a like like a Greek chorus, you know, like su su yeah. suddenly air supply comes in, right. and, and the lyrics are resonating with her inner journey. Yeah, yeah. You were Do really you into um, Olivia Newton John song. Well, I remember. You know where, yeah. <laughs> you know. I like that one. Um, I mean, uh, Total Eclipse of the Heart is pretty great. I mean that's it. I have to say that might be my that might be my favorite. And that's the one used in the in the climax. In the climax of the scene, yes. yeah. What about you? The, yeah. The, no, the approach to the um, to the songs is not uh, cynical. You know, it's not like, like we are looking down at them for any reason. You know what I mean? It's it's not guilty pleasure. It's pleasure. It's, ple yeah. it's, it's because for some reason, um, I, I mean, I, I love those songs. And, and either because I, I respect them musically or because they are part of the cultural landscape, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I do love them, you know? So, so each one of them is there for, um, for a good reason and, and, and has been chosen with great uh, care and love. John Turturro is a real dancer. John Turturro dances and he takes salsa lessons and I am not a dancer <laughs> and I'm not not someone who uh, has ever had ever salsa in their life. So so for me 
it was I love to learn new things, you know. So I was really excited to to to, to kind of to tackle it, to try to, to move and, and I like to dance, but you know, Gloria loves to dance. Mm. Like John. John mm. loves to dance too. So that idea of, of expressing your love for life and your joy about being alive physically to me was, was was really interesting and obviously challenging. But then to have a partner like John who is familiar with it and, and wants to engage in it made it even better. Since Gloria uh, is such an intense portrait of a woman, you know, this, this, this character is observed um, in every possible situation, uh, intimate or uh, among other people. She's going through the entire emotional spectrum. Um, we really get the chance to, to, to know her. Uh, by by observing her again and again, uh, so when Julianne comes in, uh, she brings all her complexity and and her beauty and her mystery, and and that's what the camera is filming. Uh, so somehow, even though the story remains more or less the same, um, the person that that is being portrayed uh, portrayed is. Uh, is uh, is a new hu human being, and that somehow uh, adds something new, something unique. When I when I when I every time I saw Julian walking into the set, it was like watching Excellency Aww. walking towards me. <laughs> Come on. You know, and everyone around her became more excellent just because it was so contagious. Oh, that's so nice. yeah, she was uh, the reason why this film was was made. <laughs>